Okay, now we're talking about the photography unit and how to use your cell phone to photograph your work. We'll be using natural light in the beginning to light your subject or product for your photographs. So we're gonna be using something called natural lighting and it depends on if you're indoors, outdoors, or if it's cloudy, um, it, how you will end up using the light to photograph your subject. Okay, so for instance, if you're shooting through a window, the subject, you want to point your subject or product towards the window, facing the window. That way the light is coming from one direction and you as a photographer should shoot to the side, off to the side of your subject. That way the light that's coming in, pouring in, is softly touching every inch of your subject's body creates this nice, soft, pretty light. Okay, and more examples of the photographer shooting at an angle and not directly into the light source. So the photographer is again to the side here. So this nice light is casting over the full body of the subject. This dramatic light is happening because it's happening to half of her body. This is a great example of when you're shooting directly into your light source. So it causes a silhouette. Your subject is directly in front of the light source, exactly the same place as the previous subjects. However, the photographer is facing straight on to the light source, which causes the silhouette. Next, we're gonna learn about photographing during cloudy days versus bright sunny days in the different times of days. So this is during twilight and twilight happens just before the sun rises and right after the sun sets. So the sun is just peeking through over the horizon line. So barely seeing that sunlight coming through over the horizon creates a really nice dramatic effect with great soft light and it's a yellow tint. The temperature is very yellow to the light. It helps create a beautiful fog of a light in the morning because the sun is um, creating those water droplets in the sky. It's catching those water droplets in the sky. Um, this can only happen on non cloudy days. So if it's a cloudy twilight, you won't have beautiful sun like this. Okay. And after twilight, we have our, uh, say we have a cloudy day. Many photographers like to photograph during, on cloudy days because it's a soft light that evenly distributes the light across your subject or product. So he's all completely covered in the light evenly throughout. Even his background has is well lit exactly like the subject. However, during, when you're shooting on a cloudy day, a lot of times your subject um, that you're photographing can turn bluish colors or muted colors. You're not gonna have very pretty um, vibrant colors. There's nothing wrong with that. It might be the style you're looking for. Okay, another great example of a cloudy day, overcast. Um, absolutely everything is in focus. You can see the subject is well lit, including the background. Now we're gonna talk about sunny days. There's sunny days is, um, let's talk about when the sun is about 12 p.m. to around 4 p.m. So when the sun is the harshest and it's very powerful. So it, ha it creates a strong direct light that causes lots of shadows. Um, it can still be very beautiful when used correctly because it causes great contrast to your photographs. So for instance, the water droplets are frozen in time. You can see this great action happening with this little girl and she's fully in focus, very sharp, in focus. The sun is coming down on her from this direction. 
another time um, way to use sunlight that's great is during soccer games or any sport games um, that you want to cause freeze time in motion. So if your subject is running really fast, you can capture your subject um, perfectly crisp, strong, sharp lines during mid sunny days. Another example, um, the flamingo is completely in focus. It's well lit. The sun is, you can see it's directly above behind it or directly beside it over here. Um, you can see the foreground, the subject, and the background during uh, very sunny days. Another midday shot, so harsh shadows, but you can still see the entire landscape in focus. Again, harsh shadows on her face, great highlights on her face. Um, and then you can also see the background completely well lit all around her. Okay, some things that can happen during bright sunny days is that it creates these extreme shadows which can be great for fashion photography, um, but we want to avoid these squinty eyes unless it's part of the look you're going for. But you want to turn your subject where they're not squinting nearly as much. Um, it can just kind of make the photo look uncomfortable to look at. So this is a great example of the harsh sun coming down on him, creating these great strong shadows, but the subject is not looking at the sun so their eyes aren't squinting and hurting. Okay, this is called the golden hour, um, sunrise and sunset. So sunrise around like five, six in the morning, seven in the morning, depending on where you live or sunset right around 6 p.m., 7 p.m., 8 p.m., depending on where you live. Um, and the sun sets um, and sunrises cause the atmosphere to look very golden, like it's just on fire. And this is wedding photographers' dream come true to photograph during this time for engagements or senior portraits or any type of portraits. Um, the sun is directly on the horizon or slightly above the horizon when this is happening. See, it's right through the couple's body. It creates this very dreamy, romantic look. And that's it for lighting. Um, now I want you to watch the three lighting hack video that is attached to Canvas.